Hello and welcome. Now if you can't already tell, this is going to be a very special and very different video than anything I've ever posted on my channel before. And obviously that is because, well, you can see me. And this is the official kind of face reveal of Tech with Tim. Now I hadn't been planning on do this, doing this, I hadn't really announced it, it was kind of just a spur of the moment thing. I saw a webcam on Amazon, it was on sale, I was like, you know what, let's just pick it up. I feel like it might be a bit more engaging with maybe when I'm explaining certain things or doing some of my tutorial videos if you have a chance to just kind of look at me in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So that way if there's not a lot going on on the screen, then uh, it's something that's more engaging that you can kind of watch while you listen. So anyways, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this, guys. Uh, what do you think about it? Is this what you thought I looked like? Uh, is this, am I completely different than you had imagined? I don't know, I'm kind of curious to see what people had imagined about me in their brain. And anyways, I just want to talk about a few things in this video. First of all, I just want to share some information about myself because a lot of you guys ask me a lot of questions and you ask like, what do I do? Uh, how did I learn programming? Like kind of questions like that. So I feel like if I can answer some of those in this video, that might give you guys some value, some information about myself. You guys can get to know me. And I also just want to talk about some of the future stuff that's going to be coming on the channel and some of the stuff that I already have that I think some of you guys that are new subscribers might not know about because in the past month or so, I've been gaining a lot of subscribers and a lot of views. And I have to say again, a massive thank you to everyone that watches the videos, that likes, that shares, comments, is subscribed. Um, it's absolutely amazing, keeps me going every day. So first of all, I guess I'll just talk about kind of some of the stuff I have on the channel that you guys might not know about. So I'm just gonna go to playlist here and go to create a playlist. And this is what you guys can do too. And this is what I do on all YouTube channels. Whenever I go to view them, I just go look at all their playlists. I have a ton of videos on a bunch of Python programming. So a lot of people ask me like, hey, I'm trying to learn Python programming. The Pi game stuff's too hard. I'm like, man, just go to my channel. Like I have <laughs> beginner Python tutorials. I have tons of other game development tutorials, like side scrolling tutorial. I have uh, intermediate Python tutorials, Tetris, Snake. Uh, I have some module tutorials where I talk about the turtle module, the NumPy module, PyCharm. I have all kinds of stuff. So just look through there and I'm sure you guys will find some other stuff that you're interested in. I just finished a classes and objects tutorial series for any of you that were kind of confused when I did object oriented programming, especially in my Pi game stuff. Um, so yeah. Also, I just want to say, make sure you guys are keeping an eye out on the community tab here. I've started to post and I'm probably going to be posting like once a week, just giving you guys some updates about what's going on, uh, what's coming next to the channel. And for any of you that have been following this, you knew that today was going to be a special video because I kind of announced it on here and that the machine learning stuff is coming kind of near the end of January, mid January, and that Java tutorials will be here very soon. I'm almost finishing, finished recording all of them. So I just have to kind of edit them, go through them, um, get everything working with that. And then they're going to be on the channel. Now, in terms of just some information about myself, cause I did tell you guys I was going to answer some questions. I just like to say, first of all, I'm 18 years old. Uh, I live in Canada and I am in my first year of computer science. I'm actually just wrapping up my first semester as of recording this video right now. And pretty much what that means for you guys is that everything that I learned throughout computer science and all the stuff that I'm doing throughout my four year, five year degree is, uh, is going to be posted on this channel completely for free. And that's really the goal here is to give you guys all of that information completely for free. And obviously I'm going to be adding my own touches to it, teaching you stuff that I haven't learned. Um, so make sure you guys are subscribed for the long run because I'm going to be showing you guys some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are excited about it as well. Now, in terms of myself, a lot of people ask me like, how do you get into programming? How'd you learn it? Like what, what's so cool about it? What not? Well, when I was really young, like I was just really into technology and computers, I just found them fascinating. So I kind of, I don't even know what got me onto it. I think I just looked up like coding or something online one day. And anyways, I ended up learning HTML, like a full like HTML uh, course. This is when I'm like 12. Uh, and then I taught myself like CSS, like all that stuff. I was doing all this HTML stuff. Eventually that led me into learning JavaScript. And then once I got into JavaScript, like I was really interested in making my own websites and stuff. So I started learning like MySQL and PHP. This is to keep your time frame around like 13, 14 years old. And then I kind of just didn't really like the web development stuff anymore. Like I was learning about all this cool stuff you could do with JavaScript, like all this dynamic programming based on like user input. And I was like, well, is there any way I can move out of this? Cause I don't really like any of the graphic design stuff. If you guys can't tell, if you've seen any of my videos where I have handwriting, like I'm the worst artist you'll probably ever see. So I started learning C sharp actually off a recommendation from one of my dad's friends who is a programmer himself. 
and he said it was a decent uh, first language to learn, like a real language, and I was like, okay, sure, so I learned that. Don't know if that was probably the best language to start off with learning, but anyways, kind of got decent at that by the time I was like 14, 15 years old, and then getting into high school and taking my first uh, like computer science class, like programming class, whatever you want to call it, I had to learn Python as that's the language they were teaching. So I learned that. I'm sure you guys can obviously tell I fell in love with Python. Uh, keep like I've been using Python since I started learning that. Honestly, if you ask me to program in C Sharp right now, I could probably do like a little bit, but I hardly remember any of the syntax from it because I haven't used it in so long. And now that I'm in university, I've just recently started teaching myself Java because I know that I'm going to have to be learning Java next semester, like in a course. So started teaching myself Java, got pretty good at that. And now I'm going to be teaching that to you guys. So in terms of the way I go about kind of learning programming languages, uh, now that I'm at the point where I know most of the basis, like a lot of people always tell you, right, once you learn one, you can learn any other one. And that's pretty much true uh, for the basics of the language. But once you start getting into some of the advanced stuff, languages are very different in terms of the way that they work in memory um, and certain functionality they have, things that you can actually do with them in terms of like cross-platform compatibility as well. So uh, yeah, so once you learn like the basics and the way I do that is I usually just go online, I look up like Java tutorial, I find some like text uh, <laughs> online and I just read it. Like I just read the text and then I literally learn the syntax and I go on to like Eclipse or whatever IDE and I just try to make something. Like I'll only spend like a few hours actually looking at syntax um, and reading or watching videos or whatnot. And then I'll just go on and I'll just try to do something. And or like I'll follow like a video tutorial of someone doing something like making a game or making a project because I find that that is the absolute best way to learn because when you're doing that and you're trying to accomplish something you run into like like a small project per se okay you run into a ton of errors you make a ton of mistakes and that's the best way that you can learn because every time you make a mistake every time you make an error and you don't know what the issue is you have to go online look it up research it and once you've done that for yourself you haven't just had someone tell you the answer uh, you remember it a lot more and that's really the way that I learned all my programming uh, is I go I watch some videos I do some syntax for a few hours and then I just try to make something and by making something I'm looking up and I'm constantly learning as I'm doing that um, and I'm making mistakes and whenever I make a mistake then I learn from that mistake I remember that mistake and if I make it again I know how to fix it and typically it doesn't happen uh, too often right and that's what I always recommend to anyone who asks me, how can I remember all this? How can I do all this? Well, I say, well, it's awesome. You want to start off watching videos, learning the syntax, getting the basis down, maybe following along like a project video or something, but then step out of that and try to do something by yourself. Like pick something that's like somewhat challenging, but not kind of crazy difficult and just try to make that. And if you can make that and you can accomplish that, not only do you now have like an awesome thing that you just created yourself, which I think is amazing that you can do on a computer in like a few hours of your spare time, but you just learned a ton. So anyways, this has just been a little bit about Tech with Tim, just doing a few, uh, answering a few questions, kind of talking to you guys, letting you guys get to know me. Now, if there's anything, if you want to see a video like this again in the future, like uh, like a Q&A, something like that, let me know, ask me some questions. Um, and yeah, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks again for all the support that I've been getting recently. That's amazing. And I'll see you again in another video.